Everybody, welcome back to our floor coverage of New York Comic Con here at Newsrama.com. I'm here with Dennis Calero. Now, Dennis, Hi. you're working with Stephen King, right? I am. So tell us about it. Oh my God, it's so exciting. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, so um, I'm doing, I uh, adapted a story called Little Green God of Agony. And it's going to be appearing as a 24 part serial on StephenKing.com. Every part is a full page of comics. So it's essentially a 24 page comic over eight weeks, given away totally for free. And it's the first um, original comic book content on StephenKing.com. So I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm a really huge fan. I've read everything he's ever written. Um, this is a story. It's not an unpublished story, but it is a story with a very limited publication history in the U.S. So for most, even hardcore fans, Little Green God of Agony will be brand new. And you'll get to see it first with my drawings, yes. So how did this come about? How did you get this opportunity? Well, I was working with uh, on a Stephen King related movie, which I can't discuss, but it's a very, it was a very dark movie, and I was in, you know, I was in a tower, kind of working on it. I won't say, but I can't say what it is. Just, it was very dark and towery. That's all I can say. And um, oh my God, Ron Howard's gonna kill me. And uh, seriously, he's, he's got hitmen. Um, very scary man. And uh, I got to know uh, Robin Firth, who we sort of worked together on the Dark Tower comic book without ever really meeting each other, and we got to really like each other and uh, in a completely platonic way. Don't kill me, Robin's husband. And um, uh, and we decided to do a, something in a comic book together, but the timing never worked out. And then we thought about doing something for StephenKing.com, but she couldn't be involved. So um, Steve was like, I call him Steve now. And uh, Steve said, Mabel, I says, Steve says, um, why don't you adapt this story? And I read it and I loved it. And uh, I had never read it, even though I was a huge fan. And um, he let me kind of run with it, and I think it looks great, and it's coming out starting on Monday. Um, it's going to run every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for eight weeks. Free comics on StephenKing.com. All right, well, let's talk about some of your, your other projects that you've been working on. Sure, since you bring it up, why not? Devil Inside at ToddStashwick.com is still going strong. We're going into our third year of completely free web comics. Uh, come to ToddStashwick.com. Uh, we don't take your email address, we don't take uh, any information, we don't advertise. All we do is ask you to tweet and Facebook if you love it. We have uh, upwards of 40,000 unique hits every week getting free comics um, every Wenesday. And uh, it's been uh, optioned by Universal and we're t turning it into maybe a web series of some kind. And uh, as an adjunct to that deal, we are currently writing uh, Clandestine for our sci-fi channel as an original pilot that we're hoping that you know someday we'll get on the air and, and, and then we'll be rich and famous. And oh, you're I'll all over the place. I won't talk to any of you, it would be great. <laughs> and I'm also drawing Eye Vampire and Masks uh, for Dynamite Eye Vampire for DC and, um, and Torchbearer for Odd... I, I don't sleep. I basically uh, don't sleep, I just eat and do a lot of nasty things to keep me awake. It's horrible. Well, if this first... I hate my life. Someone kill me. <laughs> if, the, if this first eight weeks of this comic book with Stephen King work out, yeah. are we possibly going to see more collaboration between the two of you? I would love that. We have discussed it. We have, we have discussed the, the, the distinct possibility of doing a, actual original comic book content. It's something that we have to discuss further. I would love to do that. Um, there's always other stories to do as well. Um, we're going to see what the reaction is. The, the, the idea is to get people to come to the site, to bring, uh, you know, business speaks bring added value to, but it's an added value. It's, it's, it's free and it's fun and it's a full page of comics three times a week. All right, so one more time, where can they find this comic book? StephenKing.com. Simple enough. Check it out at StephenKing.com. We're going to have more coverage here at New York Comic Con from Newsarama. Keep it here.